What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new version of WinLater WB64, which is currently in its latest unstable beta early access version based on glibc for Android. This release is actually meant for personal use, as it's still in beta, guys. Now, in this update, they've optimized the app size, making it smaller and lighter, which helps improve performance. They've also updated to the latest DXVK Async version, 2.6.1, and added the new DXVK2 ULL version. This version focuses on ultra-low latency to provide better FPS and improve overall input response time as ULL stands for Ultra Low Latency, helps to reduce lag and input delay, making gaming much smoother. The release notes also include details on input latency values based on different gaming experiences. Apart from that, most things remain the same as the official version. Loading speeds have also been improved, screen resolutions have been updated, and a few other features have been added. Plus, they fixed some bugs as well. Anyway, here, I already installed the WinLater WB64. Let's open it. Same as usual, allow the necessary permissions, and let's head over to settings. Here, the Box64 version is set to 0.3.4 by default. But you can also install other versions. The latest available version is 0.3.5. And there's also 0.3.1, which is stable. Let's go with the latest 0.3.5 for this setup. Set the Box64 preset to Performance or Compatibility. Or you can create a custom preset for better performance. As usual, set DynaRec Safe Flags to 0, DynaRec Forward to 512, and choose the custom version. In this update, they've added an option to access the Android browser from Wine and Android Clipboard support. Alright, now save the settings. Now, let's add a new container. Same as usual. This version also includes more screen resolution options, such as tab size, widescreen, and different aspect ratios, so you can select the resolution that works best for you. For the graphics driver, choose Turnip if you're using a Snapdragon or Vortec for universal devices like Melee or other unsupported Snapdragon devices. Now, in configuration, set the Turnip version to 25. Here, the direct rendering is enabled. And choose the DXVK version based on your preference. The latest available version is DXVK 2.6.1, so let's go with that. The audio driver is set to Pulse Audio. All other settings remain the same as usual. Moving on to Advanced Settings, set Startup Selection to Aggressive. Here, Windows 10 is selected, and enable all CPU cores in the Affinity. That's it. Now, save the settings. Now let's boot the container. Alright, let's first check out the Direct 3D. And as expected, it's working fine. Now, let's install Microsoft Visual C++ libraries. This is optional, guys. Some games will run just fine without it. You can also install the FISX driver if needed. But still, are you getting irritated by that annoying Windows activation watermark? Well, don't worry. Keysfan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in a simple and reliable way. You can quickly activate software like Windows and Microsoft Office using these 100% official keys, which are fully compatible with online activation. Moreover, they provide lifetime after-sales support along with 24 by 7 customer service. Right now, their software super deals are live, so don't miss out. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices with Keysfan. Simply add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG50. 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundles with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for more details. Now it's time for the test. In this video, I'm going to test Resident Evil 2 and 3, as they are compatible with Vulkan D3D. The VK3D version is set to 2.113, and the D3D level is set to DirectX 12.2. As you guys can see, we're getting stable performance and better FPS since it's based on the custom native Glib C version. It's quite similar to WinLater C mod, which I tested a couple of months ago. Hello? This is actually insane, guys. I'll also be testing Resident Evil Village soon, since it's pretty demanding. Let me know in the comments which other games you want me to try. 
I'll be posting a separate video on that test as well. Now, let's test out Resident Evil 3. And it's handling really well. We are getting a stable frame rate. Stable 30 FPS. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Anyways, that's all for this video. Hope you liked. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.